What's your dream university? Stanford. Oxford. LSE. McGill. Cambridge. What about you? AUS. 迈向世界名校的阶梯，首选辅仁国际学校。Okay, good afternoon students and welcome to our student orientation 2018. Okay. Let me introduce myself to all of you. Maybe you, you have met me or you have seen me around the school. So my name is Mr. Jeffrey Rivera. I'm in charge of the student activities in our school at the same time with this orientation. Okay. So we will have at least 30 or more minutes for this orientation. Just a simple uh, overview of all the things that you need to know about our school, okay? So we have the presentation of topics. The first one that we will do would be introducing our school, Foreign International School. Okay, what's the name of our school? Foreign International School. Very good, okay? And then for number two, this will be skipped. There would be a teacher who will be discussing or presenting this one to you, okay? And number three, part of the rules and regulations I will be covering. Number four, student support services, mostly under student activities, okay? At the same time, some tips when living in Singapore, okay? And then I will be sharing to you some useful contact information also, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes. okay, good. So, Let's start with the introduction to our, of our school, Foreign International School, okay? Okay, first important thing that we need to know about any school, okay? And of course our school, Foreign International School, would be its vision, mission, values, and culture. Maybe you're asking teacher, are those food that we could eat? No, they are not, okay? Let's start with our vision, okay? I want you to look at this part, okay? Let me just read it to you guys, okay? We aim to be Asia's most influential preparatory education institution by helping our students secure admissions to world-renowned institutions. Teacher, what do you mean by that? We don't understand. If you walk down our hill, okay, you will see some photos of our students alumni who graduated from our school and you will see the year and which university they are accepted or now studying right in Singapore our students will get into NUS NTU SMU and other overseas universities okay and that is our vision we want to be the best okay not only in Asia maybe but in the world at the same time helping our students to get into good schools and top-ranking universities at the same time, okay? So that's our vision. So how do we achieve our vision? How do we do that? It's through our, what's this word? Mission. Our mission is to provide quality education through premium lessons and strict student management to aid students in achieving their best during examinations and to help them secure entry to local tertiary institutions and world-renowned universities. Let me point out two important things here. Number one, provide quality education. All our teachers here are qualified professionals, which means they have studied they have been trained to teach whatever subject they are teaching, okay? In Singapore and maybe overseas also. Number two, strict student management. I'm proud to say that Foreign International School is one of the private institutions in Singapore or maybe the only private institution in Singapore which have this discipline you know discipline what? Do you know Mr. Jonathan Lai? You know him. You met him probably. He's in charge of our student discipline. Okay? And you can see him every day going around the classroom, uh, around the school and inside going in your classroom to check whether the students are actually wearing uniform and conducting themselves accordingly. 
And we are taking pride of this as well, that we take seriously our discipline. Okay? So we don't just let the students do whatever they want. There are rules that are being followed and must be followed. That's how we can achieve our vision by doing these two things. Number one, provide quality education to our teachers and good lesson preparation from and by our teachers. And at the same time, strict management when it comes to the student discipline. Right? Okay, that's our mission. Let's proceed to our values. Okay, I want you to look at the three words. Okay, F stands for, can you read that out loud? Focus. Okay, I stands for industrious. Can you repeat that one? Industrious. S stands for share, right? It's easy to remember because the name of our school is actually FIS. It's Foreign International School. And this is an acronym that we adopted into our values. Focus means to be focused on dreams and goals. There's only one reason why you are here in Foreign International School. Can you tell me what's that reason? Give me one word. It starts with letter S. It's very good. Study. That's the only reason why you're here. The only focus that you need to have in your stay in foreign international school is to study. Nothing else. That's the only thing that you need to do. Study, learn the law. Okay? Number two. What is this word? How do we read this one again? Industrious. Okay. To be industrious or diligent, okay, or hardworking in tasks that we set ourselves. I've been teaching in foreign international school for the past five years. I've been with them for seven years. And I can tell you that our students, they are not working 100%, but they do work 101%. More than 100%. Teacher, how is that possible? There's only 100%. Our students, they work harder because they know in order for them to be successful, they have to work harder than other students. Okay? So that's one of our values. Working harder than, than other students. 101%. Okay? And number three, the letter S. Share. To share openly and willingly. Were you here during the Chinese New Lunar New Year celebration of our school? Who, who witnessed the, that festival? You are not here yet. Okay. Normally, when we have our school activities, a lot of students would share their talents. They would share their time. We have music club. They sang during the Chinese New Year celebration. We have dance club. They share their skills, their talents, and their time. Okay? In our school, we value sharing. Okay? Because we live in one school community. Okay? You are under foreign international school. Oh, I'm just one student. I'm not part of the family here. No, you are part of the family here. Whatever problems you have, you share it with us. Talk to your teachers. Talk to us. We can help you. That's what sharing means. Okay? You are not journeying alone. You are not here alone by yourself. We are here together with you. If you need help, let us know. And if we can help you, we will definitely help you. And that's one way of sharing. Okay? So we have our values, focus, Industrious and share. Please bear those three words in your mind. Okay? And lastly, this I like this part very much. Our school culture is gratitude and reciprocity. Teacher, what does this word mean? Okay? Be grateful and repay those who have contributed in one's life. Who is sending you to school? Your parents 
mama and papa, your mother and your father. Maybe some of you, your auntie, maybe your uncle, okay? But the point is, you should be thankful to them, okay? How would you show that you are thankful to those people who are helping you? Exactly, that's the only answer to that question. You have to show to them that you are performing well, doing the things that you have to do to get better results. That's the only thing that you have to do, okay? The rest are just secondary, okay? That's being thankful to them. And reciprocity is actually giving back, giving back something to them. What do you need to give them? Headache? Problems? Mommy, I need $300, I need to buy a new Jordan shoes. Is that reciprocity or giving back to them? No. Giving back means after every unit assessment. In our school, you have a unit assessment, right? Every two months, we, s we sit for an exam. Right? And what do you need to give to your parents? You need to give the paper where you have your good results, right? That's one way of giving back to them. So that's why the culture of gratitude and reciprocity, it boils down to working hard and being thankful to them by giving them the best results that you could get. See, that's why we have these two words or book have here, okay? So this part, the vision, mission, values, and culture. This is what makes us foreign international school. This is who we are. This is our identity. Okay, we are different from other schools because of this vision, mission, values, and culture. Okay, you slow away? Okay. Mm. Can you read this word? What is this word? How do you read this? It's a it's a motto. What's a motto? Okay, oops. Okay, what's our motto? Okay. The school's motto is rise above the ordinary. Do you have any idea what does it mean in a school setting? Rise means to be to go up, right? Above, which means to be on a, like if we have a lower deck, you should be at the upper deck and you're viewing people below, okay? And ordinary means something that is common, okay? Common, okay? So our school believes that our students must excel in all the things that they do, especially academics, maths, science, chemistry, English, IELTS, Chinese literature, CCA, whatever you do, you have to give your 101%. Okay, we don't settle for 100%. We would like to achieve 101%. Okay, that's the most important thing that you need to remember. And that's what our school is aiming. Every student must give their 101%, okay? So, let's go to a more simple presentation of our school's uh, facts and figures, okay, about our school, okay? Our school is quite big when it comes to total land area. We are sitting on 5.6 hectares. We have 23 classrooms, okay? We have two science laboratories, two lecture halls, one event hall, and one counseling room, okay? We have two basketball courts, you have seen them before already, I guess, and two tennis courts in the hostel area, if you go there. We have two canteens, one cafe and one, yeah, and Wi-Fi enabled in selected areas, okay? This is what you need to remember, the school's address. Do you remember our school address? Do you still remember it? For some of you who came like a few days ago. Our school's address is 345 Old Nelson Road, Singapore 758692. And this is our telephone number, 6842-6001.
Later on, I will ask you to take a photo later before we end our session so that you have a copy of the address and the telephone number, which is very important. Okay? Because sometimes you go outside and then you come back to school and you don't know the school's address and you don't know where to go or where, what to tell the uncle, the taxi driver, uncle, I want to go to foreign international school. Eh? Where is that? You have to tell the address. So these are important information that you need to remember. Okay? So that's facts and figures. Okay. This time around, I would like to uh, bring you to a more like a virtual reality tour. Okay? So showing the buildings and whatever uh, offices that we have in our school. Okay? It's very important that you know where to go and where to find people. Okay? So to begin with, a uh, block A. Block A is near the main entrance before you go down. Okay? Right side, you will find an office that looks like this. This is our education advisory center. Okay? Teacher, what can we find there? Who can we find there? Okay. This office houses our CCM. Teacher, what, what does it mean by CCM? CCM means course consultancy managers, okay, who are knowledgeable about academic pathways in Singapore and overseas. You might have met some of them. These are our school's agents, okay. Miss Liang, Melissa, we have other uh, agents that are staying there in that office where you could actually talk to them and ask them about your academic plans in Singapore or overseas. Definitely they could help you. Okay, that's where you need to go. Okay, next. Mm. These are two important buildings that I would like you to remember and I would like you to know, okay? And be aware of these two buildings, okay? Blocks B and C, these are our academic offices, okay? If you are going to look for your English teachers, English teachers, okay? You have to go to block C. FYI, for your information, this whole block is block C, okay? The next room, is where your English teachers are located, okay? So under the leadership of Miss Anusha Tevi, okay? If you need to talk to your English teachers, where will you need to go? Block C, okay? That's good. So where you want to see, when you want to see your math and science teachers, chemistry teachers, you need to go to this building. This one is at block B, okay? So if you need to see and find Mr. Jason Tan, he has a station here. You have to get inside that building and you will see their tables or desks there, okay? At the same time, if you want to look for our academic support staff, Ms. Lucian, you might met her before, okay? You have to go to block B as well also, okay? Or if you want to see our vice principal, Dr. Liz Chan, Maybe you, you have met her or you have not. So you have to go to block B. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, next. Ooh. Which building is this one? This is the most important building in our school. We call this our administration building, okay? Where we have our reception. Is this, th does this look familiar to you? Who you met here? There is a lady stationed there. Do you remember her name? No? Okay, so we have our receptionist, our reception officer here. Her name is Masni. Yeah, the one who help you get your uniform, get your books, or whatever, you, that you make a payment or something like that. So this is where you can find her, where you need to pay your tuition or whatever bills that you have to settle you have to go to this reception counter, okay? And look for Miss Masni, okay? Okay, so, and also this main building, when you go up, you will see the offices of our directors, Mr. David Mock, 
our principal, Miss Lee Wei, okay? General manager, Miss Amy Bay, okay? Human resource, Miss Jai Chi. Facilities and IT, and uh, uh, some of them are being held by Jumadi, the uncle, the, you, you might have seen him already around our school. So level two, okay? At the same time, our finance, admission, marketing, student activities, administration, you could find them at level one. Behind this reception counter, there is a big office. There is a glass door. You have to see whether you, who are you looking for is inside the office. You can knock or ask Masni to call whoever you need to talk to. Masni, okay? So this is Block C, our administration building. Okay, clear? So far, no question or no concern yet? Okay, good. Let's continue. Okay. We have at Block D, we have a school library. Have you been there before? No. We have a very cute library there, okay, where you could do your readings and self-study. You could do research also. We have quite good variety of books that you could read. We also have the newspapers stationed in the library. We put them there on a daily basis. So if you feel like reading, feel like getting some books to read, you can go to the library, okay, and do a self-study at the same time with your friends. It could house 15 to 20 students at a time, okay? And also, we have the student development office, okay? This is right next to the library. This is where you could find our discipline master. Mr. Jonathan Lai's office is inside this office here, okay? So, and Mr. Yu Yang, you might have met Mr. Yu Yang, okay? So they are in this, uh, they are this building, so their office is there, okay? Okay, so just a quick uh, presentation of all other buildings that we have, okay? Academic blocks A, so this is academic block A, okay? So I do understand the G12, 04, 03, the graduating classes, they are situated here, okay? Block E is our main academic building. Most of your classes, classrooms are block E, right? Okay, and block F, okay? where you could find the lower secondary classroom, okay? At the same time, there is a office there where you could find our only American teacher, Mr. Terry Kisling, okay? So there is a small counseling room, of, room there where you want to talk to Mr. Terry Kisling, is our American teacher, you can go and actually see him there, okay? So those are our academic blocks A, E, and F. Okay, when it comes to food, okay, like your breakfast, your lunch, okay, we have one cafe and one canteen. At block E, we have our school, call it cafe, okay. If you want to eat the type of food that is more Singaporean taste, which means not spicy, you go to block E and buy your food from there from that canteen, okay? If you want a little bit of a, more of a Chinese kind of spicy food, you have to go to block A, okay? They have, they serve different types of food, okay? So you just have to be aware that, for, for example, today you feel like eating spicy food, you go to this canteen here. If you feel like, oh, I don't want to eat spicy food today, you go to block E and buy from that canteen there, okay? So those are our cafes and canteen, okay? So, I'm pretty sure you have seen these facilities. We have our school swimming pool, okay? And also our basketball court, okay? You know where to find them, right? Okay, so no need to discuss more. Okay, so we are ending our introduction to foreign international school. So, the course information, as I've told you, will be delivered or presented to you by Mr. Tin Long on Monday, okay? So we're going to skip this and we go to some rules and regulations and more so on the student support services, okay? So this would be a, a faster presentation, but if you have some questions, 
you may ask me later on. Okay, let me just skip this slides. Okay. Okay. So let's proceed to the some rules and regulations in our school. Okay. I will only cover the things that I am familiar with. Okay. So that you might not have any confusion regarding some of the items that are inside here. Okay. So for our regulations and policies, we are going to touch and go with some of this, such as the fee protection scheme, medical insurance, transfer policy, withdrawal policy, refund policy, dispute re resolution policy, student pass procedure, and government regulations. Okay. Again, let me clear it with you guys. I will not cover in details with all of this because there's another person who knows best when it comes to this. Okay. But I will just present to you which the part that I know. Okay. Okay. In our school, we have what we call the fee protection scheme. Okay. It, it abbreviated as FPS. Okay. Since our school is EduTrust certified private education institute. Okay. We are required to have this fee protection scheme. What is this? Okay. This fee protection scheme is one way of protecting your payment to the school. Okay, so it's basically protecting the students. Okay, how teacher? Our school, we have what we call a school insurance. Okay, whatever happens to you, like you have, God forbids that you will not have any accident in the future here, you will be covered by an insurance. And you have signed your contract, and part of the sign, the, your contract that you have signed, is there is an insurance that the name of the insurance is Liberty Insurance Private Limited. Okay, if something happens, okay, then you can claim. There is a procedure that you could claim. And also, there is a procedure that you need to follow. Okay, so by the way, you could get a copy of this insurance policy from our website. Okay, you must have the certificate of fee protection scheme insurance policy you can extract you can get it from our official's website our school's official website www.fis.edu.sg okay so you have to get that one this is for your own a uh, good and protection also okay insurance okay our school is giving you a copy have you received this yes okay good you have a copy of the COI, which stands for Certificate of Insurance. You have to have this. Okay, the school is giving this one upon use, upon signing your contract, upon processing your documents, they will give you this one. Okay, next, question on this one? None, is it? You understand? Good, okay. For the medical insurance, we are also under the same insurance company, Liberty Insurance Private Limited. This is the, their ID, okay? You check your insurance policy copy, they should have the exact number, okay? They should have the exact number, okay? So this is how you claim for your, for your insurance, medical insurance, okay? So I, this one, you can find them, refer to your hand, student handbook. Okay, because I don't want to go in a very detailed one because no use because we have given you a hard copy of your handbook. Okay, we want you to be aware that we have these existing claiming methods. Okay, you have to follow the claiming methods and you need to read the student handbook which I have given to you yesterday. Okay, so that we don't take that much on this one. Okay, clear? So please refer to your student handbook on page 10. Okay, on this matter, medical insurance policy. Okay. Also, for the transfer and withdrawal policy, this will be discussed to you by Mr. Tian Long, more on the academic side. Okay. So you should be aware that this is also you can find this one on a student handbook page 15. Okay. So transfer and withdrawal policy. Okay. So normally if you have met Miss Lucen, our academic uh, support staff, she's the one handling this one at the same time. Okay. Okay. 
So this one, I won't be discussing this one. This is the diagram uh, regarding the student course transfer procedure. Okay, so you can check on pages 16 to 18 about this information. Okay, okay. The same thing with the student course withdrawal procedure. So this is a diagram. What do you need to do first? And the end of the, of the procedure, the process. So just go through with it. If you have some questions, uh, we can answer this one to you personally. You can approach us. Please do help yourself by reading and looking into your student handbook because it, it, it would be good to read it first and understand it. And if there are some doubts and confusions, you approach us, go to us, and we will answer your questions. Okay? Okay. Together with this, deferment and extension policy, it will be also discussed by Mr. Tian Long. Okay? Refund policy also. So just be aware that we have refund policy. Okay? And please check the handbook of pages 21 to 22. Okay, on Monday, prepare your questions, prepare your questions, and then we will answer your questions. Okay? Okay, this is the refund policy table. So it's the same. Uh, this, this is the diagram and procedure for student refund procedure. Okay, it can be found on page 23 of your handbook. Okay. Dispute resolution will be discussed by Mr. Jonathan Lai under student discipline. Okay. Also, Mr. Tian Long is aware of this also, so we'll be discussing this one. They will be discussing it. Okay. So let me jump into the CCA. Uh, this one would be covered by uh, Mr. Jonathan Lai. Okay. Let me go to the last part. Okay. Student support services. Okay. So just to inform you, we have five items that we need to cover, but the the two will be covered by Mr. Jonathan Lai. Okay, the merit point system. Okay, if you do something wrong in the school, you violated the rule of a school, in any other school for that matter, you will be given a punishment in the form of a demerit points. Okay, demerit points meaning you will have your like if you have 30 points, Mr. Jonathan Lai will be discussing this one to you guys. You have total of 30 points. Okay, and then if you committed some offense, that 30 points will be deducted until it will become zero. Then it will be time for you to bye bye to go back. <laughs> okay, so attendance requirements, rules for application of leave, student activities, and student portal. I will cover and focus more on this number four and number five. Okay, so this one is the demerit point system. Uh, supposed to be discussed or presented to you by Mr. Lai. Okay, I'll skip this part. Okay, I'll go to student activities. Okay, this is my, uh, this is the line that I, 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 my expertise, I may say. Okay, in our school, we believe that academics is important, no doubt about it. But we also believe that the students must have CCA. What does it mean by CCA? co-curricular activities. Because these are non-academic activities, okay? We believe that improving our students academically is the top priority, of course, but we also believe that they need other things to improve and develop their skills and other talents, okay? So in our school, we have the co-curricular activities, okay? The one that we are very proud of would be the boy br boys brigade and the girls brigade, BB and GB. Okay, so this is this activity is held every Saturday. This is our, a uniform group in our school. They have uniform. Okay, if you have been in our MMR, there are some posters on the wall. When you get inside the MMR on the left side of the wall. There are some posters there, and you will see some girls and boys in uniform. And that's our BB and GB. We train them to be responsible. We train them to become good leaders of our school. Okay? So that's BB and GB. Also, we have one of the famous CCA that we have in our 
CCAs in our school is the debate club. Okay? Debate club is an academic club. Okay? It is handled by Mr. Michael, our, one of our English teachers. Okay? So they meet every Monday. Okay? Later on, if you feel like joining one of the CCAs, okay, just let me know and I will register you. Okay, and I will add you into the WeChat group of every CCA, okay? So that you can be a member, qualified registered member, okay? Bloggers Club, we have 12 students. If you check our school's website, we have the FIS website, right? There is part there, students blog, okay? Where the students, the members of this Bloggers Club they post photos and write something about the photos or activities okay, that they had on the previous week. So it's more of a, uh, like Facebook kind of thing, social media. Okay? So if you are interested in doing like sharing your photos and your stories, you can be a member of the Bloggers Club. Okay? We have Dance and Drama Club being uh, help every we have the dance club Wednesday and Friday also this is under the leadership or care of Miss Rimjim okay one of our English teachers okay we have music club I'm the one handling the music club they meet every Thursday okay if you are interested to learn music and be with students with the same interest in music then you could be part of our music club basketball club Anybody who's interested in playing basketball? <laughs> okay, so just for your information, we have our basketball club. They play every Wednesday from 6.30 to 8.30, okay? We have table tennis club. It's one of our like famous CCA in our school, okay? It's being our teacher in charge is none other than Mr. Jason Tan, okay? They meet every Monday and Wednesday twice a week because they have a bigger group. The members are really like more than 30 already. So they meet every Monday and every Wednesday. So if you are interested to join, let us know. We will register you and then you could have a chat with Mr. Jason and how some details regarding the, the CCA, the table tennis, okay? Tennis we do have, but it's not regular, okay? They only meet every time they, they feel like having free time and they want to play. We have tennis courts at the hostel area, two of them, okay? Also, we have running club and cycling society, okay? Running club every Tuesday, second, uh, second day of the week, every Tuesday, they run, they go to different places, okay, like Sembawang Park, they go to uh, Admiralty Park, and they run going there and going back from 6.30 to 8.30, okay, every Tuesday. Cycling club, okay, I am helping them every Friday, this Friday, today, later on, they will have another activity. They will cycle outside the school. We will look for a place where to go every week, and then we will cycle together, okay? It's more of a fun bonding, okay? We also have, for those of you who are interested when it comes to photography, we also have photography club, okay? We also have the reading club. We remove it actually for now because some members are really busy, okay? So, so we are still trying to revive it, okay? Put it back into life. And one of the most important groups that we have in our school is our class monitors association. Every class in our school, we have one leader. Do you know who is your leader? Uh, G, Zoe's class is G1102, is it? Zoe is your class monitor. That's why if you will not, if you have noticed, I always communicate to Zoe. I always look for her and talk to her regarding some activities and relay some important information to her. So these are our student uh, leaders, the class monitors. So if you have any concern in your classroom, it's good to tell them first. And then they will go to us and 
they will relay whatever concerns you have to us. Okay? So it's important this evening when you go back to your classroom, please find out who is your class monitor. Okay? Okay. So other activities that we do, okay, volunteering work, we have the willing hearts. Every Saturday, we send students to prepare food, to chop vegetables, and to clean some, some, uh, some utensils in the kitchen. So it's more of helping other people. Sunday, we have the Swami Homes. Swami Homes is just uh, in front of the Simbawang Shopping Center. It is a place for the elderly people. Teacher, what do you do there? We do at Swami Homes, sometimes we talk to the elderly people. We clean their, their quarters, and then we help them to, f we help them to eat or to f we feed them. Okay? So these are volunteer works that we do okay, to improve our compassion and our, of course, our volunteerism, helping other people. Okay? Some other activities, that the one that we had last year are this. Okay? So just be aware that we have this kind of activities. Do you have any question regarding our CCAs? Okay, if you are interested to join one of the CCAs, just let me know. Okay, then I can register you. Okay, we also have our counseling services. Okay, every Wednesday, we have one teacher from outside doing counseling in our school, in the library, from 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. Every Wednesday, if you feel like talking to a guidance counselor, teacher, I want to talk to some, uh, to, uh, to the guidance counselor. Let me know and I will schedule you. Okay? She comes every Wednesday from 8, 6.30 to 8.30. Okay? If you need someone to talk to. If you don't find your friends interesting, then you need somebody to talk to, then we get... I will schedule you to, do, uh, to have a counseling with our guidance counselor. Okay, now the last part. You have to be aware that in our school, we do a lot of online communication. Online communication. We are living in the 21st century and we are in a very like, high technocratic society where technology is part of our life. So our school also adopted this kind of things. Okay. So we have what we call our student portal, okay? Please log in to the student portal by doing, by going to our, by browsing this, okay, link, the student.fis.edu.sg. And you will see this screen, okay? You will see this screen. Log on using your user ID or password provided to you. May I know whether, have you received your password or your ID? Some of you did. From Miss, who gave it to you? Miss Ying Ying? Yes, right? If you haven't received your ID, it's very important to, you, to have your user ID and password. I do believe, if I'm correct, you are using your passport number to log in. Okay, so you try it this evening so that you can access it. Okay, so this is the important uh, what, what are the things that you can get from here? Okay, number one, if you use this student portal, you can check your student's attendance. Okay, if you are going below the required attendance rate, you check Miss Ying Ying in charge of the attendance. Every week, she is updating the records. Okay, if you want to check the results for your exam of your examination, you can go to the student portal. Okay. If you want to give some feedback to the school, you can go to the student portal. You see, it's very important. Okay, so please find time this evening to check or log in into the student portal. Okay, all the announcements from the student activities, academic announcement and other announcements are being posted there. We post them there. Okay, so it's very important to access them. Okay. I'll skip the living in Singapore. Do you have your handphone with you? I just want you to take a screenshot, or I mean, take a photo of this. 
these are uh, the people that you might need to see or talk to regarding of your concern in the future okay so from our feedback email school main number from our principal down to our discipline master Jonathan Lai we have our telephone number our QQ number and the email this is very important because if ever you need to see us just message us or send an email to us and then we know that you need help then we can help you okay so this is the last part of the presentation and I really thank you for listening intently and hopefully you have absorbed the most important parts of the presentation again if you have some questions do let us know on Monday okay thank you so much and have a good evening <laughs>